When male and female scorpion mate, they perform an elaborate dance, locking claws. At one point, the male deposits a sack containing sperm on the ground, then guides the female over it so she can take it in. Unlike insects, scorpions do not lay eggs, instead, they give birth to young scorpions. After scorpions are born, the mother carries the entire brood on her back until their first molting. Some people mistakenly refer to these as scorpion larvae, but this is not the case. There are almost 2,000 scorpion species, but only 30 or 40 have strong enough poison to kill a person. Many studies have shown scorpion venom to be effective as a pain reliever and as a treatment for illnesses such as lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, researchers at Stanford University and in Mexico have discovered that a scorpion found in eastern Mexico has a venom that could pack antibacterial properties. Since at least 2016, several countries in Africa, for example Egypt and Kenya, and Asia, for example Afghanistan, China, Iran, Iraq, Pakistan and Sri Lanka reported a dramatic increase in the number of people collecting, supplying or investing in farms for maintaining scorpions and extracting milking their venom for commercial use. In Iran, where the trend appears to be particularly acute, the concept was originally promoted via social media. But Iranian state media soon began to claim that entrepreneurs could earn up to 10 million United States dollars per liter of venom. In Vietnam, raising scorpions by semi-natural methods with coconut shells is a promising model. Scorpions are raised from birth until they can be sold commercially for about 2.5 months. Reaching an average weight of 100 to 115 pieces per kilogram, the price of commercial scorpions is up to 700,000 to 750,000 Vietnamese dongs per kilogram, 30 to 32 USD per kilogram. Scorpion farmers apply many ways to make cages and build different farming models. But the model of raising scorpions by using coconut shells is being appreciated today. Because farmers do not spend a lot of effort and time, care, raising techniques are easy but very safe. Scorpions do not lose, escape, as well as limit fighting during growth and development. When the scorpion reaches adulthood, it is very easy to catch each coconut shell by turning the shell. Feeding scorpions with coconut shells will keep the moisture for them to grow healthy. More importantly, this model is also very easy to breed them. They don't eat each other, so they don't need to be separated. Each baby scorpion that comes to the litter is sold, and the young and parents are kept and raised for further reproduction. On average, every 10 square meters for about 200 dried coconut shells. In terms of stocking density, for every 1 square meter, about 50 to 100 scorpions are raised like their parents, 200 small commercial scorpions. The food for scorpions is usually insects, animal carcasses. Farmers take advantage of local fish and crickets to feed. Farmers release the crickets to raise them together so they can reproduce on their own and make food for scorpions. Other types such as fish, snails, and frogs are given extra weaning.
In Thailand, the market demand for the elephant scorpion is still very high. There are regular customers who order both from China and Vietnam. Which the selling price in front of the farm will be from 10 to 20 baht per head, 30 to 60 United States cents per head. In Thailand, farmers choose cement pond rings method to raising scorpions. Equipment for raising elephant scorpions, cement pond rings, width 80 cm, height 50 cm. Within the pond circle, they polish it or attach stickers to make it slippery. The scorpion will not climb out of the way, farmer use net to cover the mouth of the cement pit. That has been prepared to prevent the enemy from attacking the scorpion that has been raised. A container of water, water is very important for scorpions. Inside the water container, farmer have a stone to prevent the elephant scorpion from drowning. Hiding place, which is rock or leaf fragments or logs. After preparing all the equipment, farmers add soil in the prepared cement pond with a thickness of about 5 to 10 centimeters. Farmer clean and collect food residues left in the pond periodically, if there is completeness, scorpions are naturally fertilized. Observe the pregnancy of the female by looking at the muscles attached between the third seventh segment, which will be enlarged. Elephant scorpions are pregnant for one year, the mother scorpion does not lay eggs like other insects or arachnids but produces young from the reproductive tract. After the elephant scorpions mate and become pregnant, females should be separated and raised alone. When the elephant scorpion gives birth to the baby, it is one month old, the mother scorpion is brought back to raise it in the cement pond as usual. Bring the baby elephant scorpions from many mothers to raise them together. When the elephant scorpion is 8 to 12 months old, it can be caught and sold. The food of the elephant scorpion, food will be small animals such as spiders, grasshoppers, termites, crickets which must be fed in the evening because the elephant scorpion's tricky time is at night. Scorpion species, scorpions used for breeding, select a large strong body with complete organs, used as a breeder. Scorpions are unusual long-lived compared to other invertebrates. Most scorpions reach maturity in one to three years, some species take longer time, and live for one to three years as adults. This means that scorpions can live from two to six years, but there are few lifespan studies. For raising elephant scorpions as a profession for value, for time and investment, should be raised in the number of 10 ponds or more. The cost of raising elephant scorpions per pond consists of breeding cost, one pond uses 10 males, 20 females, a total of 30. Selling price, caught from nature, is 10 baht each, totaling 300 baht. The cost of various equipment, water containers, hiding places, and nylon covering the mouth of the well, all is 100 baht. 
While the cost of food which is used for small animals and insects per model is about 100 baht, total cost per pond is 500 baht equals 15 United States dollars and 21 cents. The rewards of raising elephant scorpions if properly managed, especially from birth to 10 days, one mother can give an average of 15 babies. And one pond has 20 mothers, so 300 cubs will be obtained after raising for another year. If sold as fried insects, the price will be 10 baht each, but if sold as a breeder, the price is 50 baht each. Therefore, per production cycle, the raiser will earn 3,000 to 15,000 baht per pond. When raising 10 ponds, the maximum income is 150,000 baht equals 4,563 United States dollars per production cycle. Scorpions are raised at insect farms, then frozen and sold to consumers. Scorpions can be prepared in so many different ways, fried, roasted, grilled and even eaten alive. If you're not into eating something that's moving then we suggest fried scorpion on a stick. The stinger is best removed before eating, but isn't essential if cooked. Unlike some food like lobster, there's no technical skill required when eating scorpions. Everything is edible, and they easily fall apart with a gentle pull. If you buy a live scorpion at a restaurant, then you may have it served alive. A scorpion tastes like really good beef jerky. A scorpion also has a slight fishy taste. These can be consumed fried, roasted, grilled, or laid. Live scorpions are usually eaten with their stingers cut off and dunked in some sort of wine. The skewers of fried scorpions are said to contain protein and good for health. This is a favorite snack sold in tourist sites and along the streets in Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam, India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, and China, Tibet.